Hello YouTube, it's Christy Nitro from the fabulous Las Vegas area. I know it's been a while, but if you guys have been to Michael's lately, which you know I work there, you know that we did the scrapbooking section. We are now redoing fine arts. We did some jewelry. It's been crazy doing all the remodels. Good thing is for me, I was taking part in some of it, so I got to see the new stuff before it even hit the shelves. I was a kid in a candy store. So long story short, I've been working my little bahooky off trying to get all the new product out and stored properly to, I guess you can say, Michael's corporate standards. Good times, right? I did get some stuff along the way. I just feel so kind of like shameful that I haven't been able to use it yet, but I've been extremely busy and I have the weekend off. Yes, the whole weekend, three days. So you guys are going to be seeing a lot of me, so please stay tuned. Let's get into the fabulous finds and some of the new stuff at work. Let's do this. First, what you've been staring at is the washi tape organizer. Of course, I already put it to use because I've had this. This is all stuff from, I want to say, almost three weeks now. So yeah, I've been collecting. Can't wait to use it. Washi tape organizer. All right, if you're looking for it, this is your SKU. Don't give us that big old number. Just do this little six digit number and we'll be able to find it for you because we can punch it into our little guns and whatnot. This comes in two colors that we had at my location. There might be more colors. I don't know. I haven't even checked online. I went with the gray because as you can see, it kind of goes with the craft room. Awesome. Look at this. Boom. Of course, it doesn't come with all this fierce washi. These are just like my go-tos at the moment. The cool thing about this is, boom, look at that. And then you have like a more to-go type thing. You just unzip it. Easy to get to. I love it. If I bought like four more of these, I pretty much could store all my washi. But right now, I'm happy with the little plastic organizers, little bins that I have them in. And another cool thing about this, if you have one of those push carts, guess what? This can roll right along with you. So fantastic for crops and all those other things. I might get one more if I can find another gray one because we sold out of these really quick when they went 50 off for holiday washi because that would be a great way to store some holiday stuff. Am I right? Let's get into just some extra goodies. You know, these have no rhyme or reason. That was organization real short and simple it's everything I needed and then some I got these little tags you can see bird on a wire remember four years ago yeah it was four years already when birds on a wire was everything and then some so you get four pieces they were 49 cents I couldn't pass them up because I still truly love birds on a wire I really really do all right then we're gonna get into some tassels here this is from that one enchanting line so we're all the unicorns and rainbows and all that fun stuff not really feeling unicorns too much I still think they're adorable but I had to get these tassels just to slap on some journals and whatnot I love that they were really really cheap like I couldn't even make them for that cheap another thing that was so cheap I couldn't believe it Timmy got a remake in the mixed media section which is now my favorite aisle I would love to know what your guys' favorite aisle is at Mar Michael's if you are a frequent flyer with us. I'd love to know that. Besides the mixed media, of course, is my personal favorite because it's the apartment I work in, which is floral. But back into Timmy. Let me focus. Um, some of his stuff went on clearance so it can make room for the newer stuff. These were only 59 cents, guys. And since, you know, I'm big into the traveler's notebooks, journals in general, I could slap these on that or great for altering projects as well. 59 cents, please. I got these bad boys when it was the buy one, get one in scrapbooking. Man, I was so happy to work in scrapbooking that day. You have no idea. Um, these are so pricey, but so gorgeous. <laughs> I could just look at them and not do anything with them and still be happy. But these are the vellum, like double layered vellum embellishments. You can see that printed vellum on top of it. It's normally how I do my own personal butterflies. They just made 24 of them for me for $4. That's awesome. I mean, just look at that. Isn't that just so cool to look at as is? Oh, man. I'm going to have a blast this weekend in my craft room. Like, I felt so bad. I was like, oh, my craft room is probably so dusty. It misses me. I've been crafting at work still. You guys know that if you follow me on Instagram. I've been doing it, just not as much of my own personal crafting. All right, now let's get into, I'm gonna call this like the 
mixed media version of the stuff I picked up over the last several weeks. These are so cheap now. Oh my gosh. I think I paid right around $2 for these. You can see original price $9.99. Now, I'm not taking these out of the package just yet because these are from the Color Splash line, which I love. And I got the last ones, was it last year, two years ago? And you can see it's about time I do it. They're so stained and I clean them, but you know, it's good to have like a backup because these brushes are awesome. And when you can give them that cheap, I should have bought another pack, right? Maybe I will. Now that I see it, <laughs> they'll be all gone. But great score, I'm telling you, I love them. I also wanted to try out the oxides from, of course, my boy Timmy. We only got a few colors in and I was really disappointed because they are $7. So even if you drop that coupon, it's still not as good as I've been finding them online. So before I go all crazy online, I just got two of the colors I know that I would use. The vintage photo because let's face it, I'm obsessed with this tea dye and I'm super obsessed with this vintage photo. And Broken China I got, I saw so many people do these amazing backgrounds, like sky backgrounds with it. So I'm going to mix this with my other Distress Inks and other things and kind of do something awesome with it. I mean, if I can do what I've been seeing other artists do online, I might just have to whip out some Fierce Cash and pick up like a pack online. Moving into Dilutions. Again, I got the paint pens. Am I even, have I been in focus? I'm so sorry. Um, I got these again when it was the BOGO deal. This alone is $8. And I've been hearing mixed reviews too. I just wanted to give it a go because the only other paint marker I have, and I'm okay with it, is Sharpie. But she makes products, especially for mixed media, which is kind of like my go-to as of lately. So this would have been $8 alone. And oh gosh, I hope you're sitting down. This one is $21.99 for six little paint pens and I know they look bigger on camera but they're no different than like a regular just pen they're not that thick either but together with the BOGO I paid right around 16 for both so I thought okay if I'm gonna do it let's do it now and see how they work out and I will give you an honest opinion on these because I have been hearing so many mixed reviews and I gotta do it she makes it look like they're the greatest things that came out for us artists and crafters. Okay, more mixed media things. I just get off the subject so quick. I've been having a blast with these. These are also mixed media tags. You can see how I love that aisle. Um, they're chipboard door hangers. It's a six pack. I already blew through two of them. One is already shipped out. The other one I have to get out because it's for a challenge. And I have four more to play with and I can't wait because I just, these things are so thick. I don't know if you can tell with the glare. I always have to apologize for my glare and I don't know why. I mean, there's nothing I can do. I live in a sunny, sunny state. And then I got the chipboard album. These are both $1.49 on clearance, by the way, which is a super steal of a deal. So this is what these are. It says it's an album. It's really not. They're kind of like frames. You just punch out this middle section here and you can put a photo then decorate it or you know those awesome journaling cards that we all have the project life cards inspirational stuff you guys get it so there's the two different kinds the oval and the square and I can't wait to make some fun stuff for friends with these then um you will find out why I got this later let me just show you this this is uh also in mixed media don't know why they got a whole bunch of travelers notebooks and they're gorgeous like I thought about the peach one that they have it's like a peachy pink distressed looking one they're $9.99 which is a fabulous score for everything you get and all the accessories that go along with them are $3.99 but I didn't need the little sticky things and I definitely don't need any more notebooks because I've lately been making my own but you know how it goes this is the zipper pouch and you'll see why I got it when I do my Joann's haul because oh my gosh I'm, I'm like so excited you have no idea little crafty things make me smile all right so that was a big chunk of it let me get some of this out of the way okay so I can bring in even bigger things Ooh, so excited 
this weekend is gonna be like crafting extravaganza in my craft room. I don't want to do nothing. I'm turning off my phone. I might snap some pictures, but that's really how it's happening. Planner stuff. Yes, you guys know we got in all our new planner stuff. Two aisles now. And I thought when we were going to do the remodel, this would have made sense, right? Feel me on this. If we did one aisle of nothing but the happy planner stuff and one aisle of nothing but the recollection stuff, that would have been simple. It would have made sense. It would have been easier to sign. But oh no. Oh no. They had to split it up. And how they split it up doesn't make any sense. So I guarantee in like a few weeks, a month, maybe a few months, we're going to redo it. I guarantee it. Because someone's going to wake up and be like, oh, we should have put all. Yeah, I know. This was $3. Anyway, <laughs> rant. Um, this was $3. So I, I scored it. I had to. Um, this is for the mini happy planner. It's the pouch. It's not a handmade pouch, which means it's going to hold up great. Not like my handmade one doesn't, but this I'll, I'll feel safer with me and my crazy ways. $3 for the mini one. That's awesome. Then this, yes, you're seeing, I got the recipe one, but holy cow. Did you guys get the one? Um, it was last holiday. Remember how we did like the doorbuster? They were 60 off when they first came out with the spiral bomb uh, recollection ones. I could have swore it was so much smaller. I wanted this bad boy and this was one of the first ones to sell out. And I was so upset because I wanted it for gifts. I got the big one for myself at a great price. But look at the size on this. And it has both of it. So no matter where you are, you understand the fierceness. This could be a weapon. This is so heavy. Oh my gosh, but I'm so excited. Ah, I finally got it. I'm just gonna do a quick flip through. I'm sure so many people have it out there. This is just massive, how am I gonna do this? So we jump right into the measurements, the kitchen conversions, all the things I need. I thought this was awesome right here. Notes and pictures, look at how cute that is. Ah, I know. Then it flips into your breakfast section. So this is all your tabbed out section. And they got it broken down really, really good. I don't know. I'm sorry, guys. This thing is so big. Recipe from the kitchen of ingredients. Here's your notes section. Directions. You got a big old chunk. I mean, even if you write big, perfect for you. Serves main ingredients. Seasonal variations. Difficulty. That's adorable. Prep time, cooking time, temperature, serve with. So each section is the same way, just different colors. So we have sides here, same thing. Then we go into main dishes. I wish they would have made this section just a little bit bigger because main dishes are kind of what I like to keep the recipes most of. Then we go into desserts, which I'm gonna get a lot of these from my friend. She makes amazing desserts. Miscellaneous is probably where I'm gonna continue the main dishes. Then you have meal planning. I thought this was kind of genius too. Again, okay, so you have this, your weekly meal planning. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that part yet, but let me flip it over to the, where it's called the weekly market list. I can't imagine anyone bringing this old big thing to the grocery store, but it does include everything like your date, protein, dairy, vegetables, pantry, fruits, others. You have notes down at the bottom. I don't know how well you can see that. And then it's household snacks, drinks, and bakeries. So it pretty much covers everything. What I'm gonna do with this, instead of weekly, say I'm, I have a recipe for stuffed cabbages. I'm gonna make sure that this will say like, stuffed cabbage goods and everything you need to make that dish. Still don't know what I'm gonna do with this side which is the weekly version of it. I might continue pictures or something or like step-by-steps maybe. But I mean, this is a great massive weapon. Holy cow, guys. I'm not even done yet. Let me flip it back over without hurting myself. <laughs> I mean, it's just so big. Ugh, ton you won't have to worry about writing space, that's for sure. Okay. Then we get into the stickers because the spiral ones come with stickers, which is awesome do you see these peppers so even like when you go to a restaurant you know how it has like hot and spicy and they usually do it with the number of peppers that's what i'm gonna do 
and I love me some spicy food. Of course, you have emojis, thumbs up, thumbs down. I think that's awesome. These little note things with the uh, spoons and forks. <sighs> they didn't forget anything. I love this. I'm so happy I bought this. I just want to know, if you guys have it from last time, was it this big or was it smaller? You have your uh, prep time or cook time, which I think is cool. I mean, they really didn't forget anything. I'm sorry if my music's too loud. Is that lower now? I'm sorry. Maybe now I don't have to shout. Um, I mean, just look at this. Oh, so, it's so, oh, you're not even seeing all of it. It's so cute. Then you have your pocket. And I think I might do like, um, I don't know, like coupons maybe or something. I don't know. I have no idea what I'm doing. You even get a little zipper pouch. So worth it. And I think I paid $12 for this whole entire thing. Normal price is $30, so I did score it for a pretty good steal of a deal. And yes, that's my phone ringing. And yes, I'm totally ignoring it because no, I should have turned it off. I'm sorry. It will go away eventually. All right, then papers. Ugh. Specialty papers last week were 10 for 10. That makes them a dollar each. And I just got this foam heart because this is so stinking cool. I love it. I love it. I can't wait to do something cool with it. And then, of course, I had to get my printed canvas because anytime I can, I grab this. This is how I make my journals and all that stuff is with the printed canvas. For a dollar, you can't beat it. Now, look at this. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Paper House is killing it. I'm sorry. They are moving up in my list of things to look out for. I'm always like an authentic girl, but I love me some photorealism. And you know I've been trying to find a kind of like Americana red, white, and blue paper pack this did it for me so you get 48 sheets and it even comes with a sticker sheet and half with foil i scored this at the bogo as well and i'm going to give you kind of like here i don't even know how to do this oh, i need you know what i need to get i need to get a better uh tripod that's what i need something where it's like the overhead view but look at this one oh, it's a journaling spot. Come on, that is so awesome. I love this. You get so many cut aparts in here too. Jeez, I'm just gonna do a quick flip. Look at that foil. Oh, you know I love my maps and cityscapes and oh, this has it all. These are foiled if you can't tell like some of these. It's just so gorgeous. If you're there and even if you're not interested in this kind of stuff, just look at just some of these images and how well they choose what to foil, what not to foil. This is so gorgeous. To me, to me it's just this whole thing. You probably can't even see what that is, but look, this is Philadelphia. So people from Philly, that's gorgeous. America, the beautiful. More cutouts, like so, so perfect. And then this one is like um like a stone and then it starts over again so awesome i'm so pleased that was like the most perfect find i just I, ooh, oh and then i got this from tim holtz it's called dapper i got it because it was 4.99 it's not one of my favorites of him and it, that's hard for me to say because you know me and tammy we're like buddies and i'll just do a real quick flip through of these I love his grit I love his grime I love everything he does this one I'm just okay with but I know for some Father's Day cards and journals and other things I'll use it this is just definitely not gonna be my go-to it's cute though right not cute it's it's well made I should say well made like look, look at that okay anyway that is my Michaels haul I hope you guys have been enjoying the new stuff. If not, go check out the remodel. I, they did well besides the planner thing, which I hope they work on. You know how it goes. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, keep crafting.